I thought we'd talk about um, reference points today because it feels like we have a, a point that's referred to this me, I, my mind, my body, myself. <laughs> um, so I just thought we would take some time together to look at the truth of this uh, reference point to see if we can gain some clarity around it, to see if, um, if we can find it. There's just a feeling of space here. There's just words in space. And there's just a sense here that that's all I'm talking to, just a ground of being. I'm not talking to lots of separate people, just talking, not even to a ground of being. There is just a ground of being. Having all of the experiences, just a sense of being. It's as if I've got to make up everything else to play in that world of people and things and fixing and helping and or there's just this being. This resonance from being, this no sense of self, no point of view, no reference point, just what's appearing in being. And is it even appearing in being? <laughs> it's just being. It's like we've got to step out of being to create anything. To um, And who would be the we stepping out of being? That's imagination. That's the potential of being. Pure potential to create. Create a we. Fundamentally, it's just being. Creating everything. There's one being. Creating. There's just no point of view, no reference point, unless it's imagined to be a separate self, to be something other than just being. There's nothing that feels like it needs to fill in. You know, what's the mind? I have to imagine it to talk about it. So 
And what's imagining? When I say I have to imagine, what would that be? Who would be imagining? You know, if you don't like the silence here, who doesn't like the silence? I'd have to imagine somebody not liking the silence, even to be talking about somebody not liking the silence. It's like this is just the ground of being. This is prior to manifestation. There's already manifestation. The voice is, phew, is manifested. The vibration, the creation of being. There is just one being. Appearing is the many. There's not one being any better than another being. <laughs> because there's only one being. And you're that one being. feeling like it's having an individual experience through the senses. And it's just investigate that. It's just that the being, the one being, is having an individual experience. And that individual experience is Believing it's individual. That individual experience is refer referencing back to a mind that's just a way of experiencing. Just like the senses. They're just ways of experiencing, tools of experience, for being to experience. There's not an experiencer, there's just experiencing. And who's experiencing? Can you find that one? This isn't. These are not questions for the mind. <laughs> I can't even find a mind. <laughs> there's nobody waking up. It's all just an experience for being. So there's nobody for me to wake up. Um, there's being. Experiencing waking up. So am I pointing? Pointing to myself, <laughs> pointing to being, that's all there is here, being. I'm not, so, I'm not saying this being can pick up um, the um, idea of an experiencer. No different to you. I can experience being separate. You know, who is then having the experience of being separate and being one? <laughs> being is... <gasps> so being is experiencing helping people to be <laughs> and those people are beings beings being just having different experiences there's no experiencer there's just being so it's just all those senses and all the appearances of being enable this 
being to play in this world of duality, of subjects, you know, of things, the many things appearing. But when you look from being, it's all appearing in being. And you can't see what isn't being. Everything is being. Everything is being. The tables being, the cups being, everything is being. There's nothing that's not being. 